Hey, sneaking in for today. Today we've got Lucy242. Or to everybody else, this will be a fu puppy 5.2. I need to say a different word there, didn't I? Puppy 5.2. So this is the freeze version. So basically what you see is what you're going to get at the end of the day. Now I did do a video on puppy, well sorry, Lucy241 and 239. Because it had a particular problem with sound and 100% CP usage. But that has now gone away with 242. So very well done to the chaps who've done that. So we're going to have a quick look round for you. Because you know what it looks like. There's just a few differences. Also, it runs a little bit quicker. Yeah, it does. It runs a bit quicker. There's some few bits different here in the Grip Pet section because it's a new version. Of course, you get popular internet useful and SFS files. So basically, now you can get your SFS files. Don't say that too quick after a beer, will you? You can get your files and it will convert them to a pet file and then install them. And don't forget to install your correct graphics card driver as well. There's three here now, so that's even better, so that's good. And we've got the news page for Lucid Puppy. So what we're going to do, we're going to go all the way over there. Now this is the one we're actually using here, look, Lucid 242. And as you can see, you can still get all the updates for 5.1 and the XFCE stuff. And we'll come to XFCE a little bit later, because uh, I've done that as well. All in the one video to make it all go nice young dory So yeah, that's alright. So anyway, we'll go to install. And we're going to go to the uh, Puppy uh, Package Manager. And you can see there's quite a lot more here. We will we'll see as I start scrolling down anyway. There's a bit more in here than there was before. And it's all from the Lucid Puppy repos. So that's rather nice. A lot more drivers, as you can see there. Really nice if you've got an awkward card, shall we say. An awkward card. That's more to the point. Because they're bleeding awkward, some of them. Don't forget, if you're going to install OpenShot or Record My Desktop and Scribe Us, you do need to install Python first. Otherwise, it ain't going to play football with you and it will lose 10 nil. So yeah, we've got uh, two lots of Gimpy there as well. <clears throat> There's the 10 version and the 9, is that 9? No, it's 8. I'm going blind. New glasses for me. Scribes in there, as I said, so don't forget to install Python. <clears throat> and your usual, like Genie and Gobby's in there. Personals and bits and bobs in here. Look, still the same stuff as last time. That's not very big, that one at all, is it? Network, you've got Skype. -y. There's also Skype in the SFS files in the Quick Pet section. So I don't know what one you want to install there, or maybe they're both the same. I didn't actually check that one out too quickly. Now here, I've already installed Chromium by the way. Here you can also get Firefox, whatever version you want to. So yeah, super duper. Oh, don't forget in multimedia, but this dead beef thing, I'm just, it's not doing it for me, but don't forget you can install any other music player you want to. There's a lot more in multimedia, didn't you? did you see that? Yes, you see that, didn't you? I thought you did, yeah. So anyway, we're going back to the internet section here, and we're in the Puppy, puppy Package Manager. And I've not had a drink yet, I wouldn't mind. The Puppy Package Manager. And we're going to do a bit of installing for you, just a little one, because the video is not too long and it's not too short. Uh, Aurora, don't talk to me about Aurora either. I don't want to talk about it. I said I don't want to talk about it. But Firefox 4.07, or B7, we're going to install that, check it out, and make sure it runs on the new pup. So we've got to Netherlands and download my packages. I'm going to click on download, and basically, this is what you get. Now, you see that blanked out box in the middle? That's been there for as long as I've been using Papa, and I haven't changed it. One day I might get around to it, but it doesn't affect the way it runs the system or anything like that, so it's no big deal. So there we go. Doom. Firefox is downloaded. See my nice new speeds now. It's great, isn't it? So it's downloaded. We're going to install it. I've clicked OK. Off we go, and off we go. Go, go, go. I'll wait for it to install, basically. It's not too bad, is it? Nice and quick. Oh, yeah. oh, by the way, it install, uh, installs. It connects to the internet automatically as soon as you boot the system up via Ethernet, that is, not via wireless. Now, it says there's a couple of libraries missing here. Now, you can go and get them if you want to, if you know how to do it. But I'm going to try it without using them libraries to start with, basically. Yeah, basically. I'm, so I'm going to click OK. That'll all go hunky dory there, look. <clears throat> Before we install, so we'll go down. I'm going to go down to menu. And we'll go up again, we'll go to multimedia, just to see if it's working, and then we'll go on to the next bit. Firefox works. Right, as if by magic, we're back with Lucy242, but this time I've installed XFCE section for it. All the desktop, should I say. And if you like XFCE, very nice it is too. It's got all the stuff here you would expect. All the usual puppy stuff. This is the stuff I didn't go through just a minute ago, because I was going to go through them in here. But yeah, all X XFCE. And did you know there is a new version of XFCE being testing at the moment so if you want to check that out go and check it out or oh, i might do it myself next week actually if i'll get round to it anyway go down the menu still still going down the menu menus going down still 
it's all the same. It's all usual puppy stuff. Remember, I have installed some stuff on top of this as well, because it's just to make sure it all works, basically. Because sometimes when you get an ISO, you go and download it, as we found in a couple of the other Debian pups. You go to the go to the repositories, and nothing works. And which we don't want that, really, do we? No, we don't. So yeah, anyway, I'm going down. Oh, there's Skype here I put in. I've done that one from the SFS files, by the way. I did, yeah. Honestly, I did, yeah. And it works fine. So that's super. I open in HTOP, and it leaves a terminal window open, which I don't know why, so I'll close it. And as you can see, as you would expect, it's using no CPU, because they sorted that. B. And we're using about 46, 47 of RAM, and none of my gig of swap. And you're saying, why have you got a gig of swap? I said, because that's how much RAM I've got. You know? And I thought I'd give it a gig as well. But I didn't really need to, did I? No, you didn't. But, anyway, enough of my chocolating about. We had some more stuff here, your web browser, we can open them up and not open them up and do whatever you like. Nice desktop. Oh, I like you. Do you like desktop? Remember, you can get different artwork from the XFCE site. There's a link there to go to their um, little play thing. There's loads of artwork and themes you can get for it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. A few more games in here as well, by the way. Yes, a few more games. Bearing in mind, this won't change much until the, the full release, because apparently he's put a freeze on it. There's going to be a freeze. It's a bit like it is now, cold. So, yeah, this is basically what it's going to be like. Unless I hear different, we'll wait until it's released. Anyway, new pup. Super duper, can't wait for its full release. If you want it, go and get it. Or you can do soon. Sneaky Linux out. See you later.